Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, this is The World Away. Brand new week, we're going to be starting the week with the penultimate pack of the Agora models, build the 2A6 Leopard Tank. Hey, I just want to let you all know that you can now find my merchandise store by clicking on the store tab on the front page of my YouTube channel. So there you go, so it's the penultimate episode. So uh, next time we uh, do this, we're gonna have a finished tank that we'll be able to uh, operate, uh, have it out in the garden, especially with this glorious weather, which is the reason I'm wearing this uh, lovely Hawaiian shirt today. Now, before we get into this, I need to tell you some things that are going on to the channel this week. Uh, just so you know, there's only gonna be three videos this week. I'm gonna try and get them out on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, uh, mainly because I'm building up some videos for next week because I'm not actually here. I'm actually on holiday next week. Now, also, so on Thursday night, where we normally have our Thursday night live stream, that has now been moved to Friday. So there's no Thursday live, night live stream. It's now been moved to Friday on account that myself, Phil Siegel from Spruverse and Lou Dalmeso from Aztec Dummy are going to be doing our time machine reveals. So uh, that's going to be fun as well. Now, with the tank today, it looks like we're doing a lot more electrics. Uh, we're going to be putting those in. I think it's going to be quite a quick stage, this one is. But if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link to the Agora Models website down there. You can get this all the way from pack one. But without further ado, let's get cracking. Now, before we start any of this build, I'm just going to open my little box of uh, stuff that we've had from previous stages here. Because we are going to need some stuff. We're going to need these metal cogs here. So that's one and this one here two. I'm also going to need the machine gun looking like that and I am just going to take out some of these plastic parts. I'm not sure if I need them but uh, I am going to keep them as well. Now these tracks, a little bit confused by these because we've done them, we have finished them now and there's 81 links on here but the instructions have changed now. In the instructions it's saying there needs to be 79 here. I'm not going to take any off until it comes to actually putting these on. We don't actually put these on in this stage. That's going to happen in the last pack. Uh, it's going to be easier, I think, taking them off than getting them on. Uh, but it is, in, for the last two stages, actually, it's saying there should be 79 here, not 81. I've got 81. Every stage before that says 81. But uh, who knows? We'll find that out in pack 12. But I just want you to uh, make you aware that I am aware of that too. So that leads us to stage 85. And as you can see, stage 85, we're not actually building anything. We're not actually doing anything, but we have got this excellent figure, which is going to be sitting in the top of the tank. With his binoculars there, what should we call him? Cuthbert Cringingworthy <laughs> from the Beano. Do you remember that, the Bass Street Kids? Sergeant Cringingworthy. <laughs> but this is going to be the figurine that's going to be going into... Uh, the tank, but that is all there is to do in that stage. Now in stage 86, we have got the fascia now for the remote control. We're not actually going to be doing much on the remote control in this one, so I'm going to make sure I put this aside safely, but that is looking like that. We do have some parts in here. Let's get these open. A couple of plastic details and some screws. So I'm going to be bringing across the base of the tank that looks like that. And it's these sections here that I'm interested in. They are going to have what we pulled out last time. These are from stages 50 and 59. And we want to make sure that this side here is the side that faces out. These are going to go onto the motor rods that we've got on each side. So I'm just... Uh, doing this blind because it's away from me so they're in like that now we're going to hold them in with cm screws the cm screws do come in this pack these are flange screws they're quite big so i'm going to actually use my ph1 screwdriver for this rather than my ph0 and i have put some oil in these And there we go, that's the first one in place. Do the same on the other side. And that's perfect. And that's the second one in place as well. 
Now in stage 39, I believe it was, we had these ends to put on, which has got two little clips at the bottom. They are just going to be capping this section, making sure we've lined everything up. And there we go. That one's in just like that. And we do the same on the other side. So that is now in there. Now I could put this whole thing to one side and bring over the turret section here. And we've got this little detail here, which is gonna go into the ring of this side here. So what I'm gonna do is just attach that in here. It sort of goes on the lip, just like that. We've got this small detail here. That's just gonna go on this side like this. And it's gonna be held in with an A, B, P screw. A very, very tiny screw this is. So I'm gonna use my uh, one that I had from a previous build. It sort of fits just on the edge there. Can you see that? Not this main hole. Here's the screw here. And there we go. It's screwed in. So now this detail can't come out. It's like a little clamp there now. And that's now ready to house the machine gun. Which looks like that. And that's just going to go over the top like that there held in with an ap screw perfect and that is all there is to do in that stage now in stage 87 we've got some more parts here for the remote control and as you can see we've got a battery plate here which is actually already been put in but that is basically saying to us keep it to one side keep it safe and why we are keeping things safe i've got issue 88 here as a matter of fact i'm not actually going to take this out of the packet until i need it uh, this is the charging uh transformer for it uh which is going to keep that to one side as well and while we're keeping things safe we have got a battery pack here. Now, by the look of it, this has got two 18650 batteries in it. These are the rechargeable batteries. And again, we're going to keep this safe as well. So that leads us to issue 90. Now, we do have a decal to put on, which I'm going to put on uh, after this little section here that I'm going to put on first. So bringing the base over, this is going to go onto the lugs that we can just see down the bottom here. So it's gonna fit on just like that. Now it's gonna be held in with some ZP screws. It's held on with four ZP screws. So that's one, two, three, these are going in quick, and four. We then need the battery from the last stage and that's going to be fitting into this section here that way around just like that and i would say that's all there is to do in that stage but i am going to be putting this little decal just on the front of the turret section so where we've got d3 on this side our little detail is going to go just here so as you can see here got some water open the decal up and just drop that in the water now the crest is the top so that's how we're going to orientate this i have got a uh, cocktail stick to help me here i do have this micro set i don't think we're going to need micro set for this one because it is actually a flat surface we don't need to soften the decal up uh, i think it's going to go on there absolutely perfect but what i am going to do is just water just my finger so there is some moisture here for the decal to go in. Normally I'd use a cotton bud for that, but uh, my cotton bud is covered in oil at the moment. I leave it soaking for about 40 seconds, the decal, and you'll know it's ready to go because it should slip around on the plate just like that. And there you go. Show you on the uh, top camera. That's that decal on now to mirror the other side. And that's all there is to do in that stage. So 
So we are going to move swiftly on to stage 91. It is worth noting that in issue 90, we did have a circuit board. I forgot to show you that. That's what that looks like. But again, we're just keeping that safe for now. So in issue 91, looks like we've got another circuit board, which is encased in this case just here. There seems to be a wire coming out. I'm wondering if that's an aerial wire for the remote control. Just tidying up a little bit here because I need to bring over this section that we we're working on previously. Just moving the wires out of the way because this is going to go on the top just like this here. It's going to be held in with CP screws. So that one's one. And this one over here is two. Now on this tank, I don't know if you've noticed this. That's perfect. We haven't plugged in any electrics at the moment. And by the look of it, we're not going to be plugging any electrics in this whole pack. I think that's all going to be saved for pack 12. Uh, but that's all there is to do in that stage. So that leads us to stage 92 here, which is the last stage in this pack. I'm just going to put everything to one side. We do have some perspex here, so keep that safe. Bring over the top of the tank here. And I've zoomed out a little bit on my camera. In these back sections here, we do have these rods, which have got screws at the bottom. They're going to go in there and I'm just going to screw these in. So that's one. And this one's two. I know that my comment section is going to be plagued telling me what everything is here because I haven't got a clue. <laughs> the instructions don't actually tell you the uh, what each item is. And I don't want to guess. So just putting that in as tight as I can get it. I did put a little bit of oil on this one just to help turn it. I have got some pliers here as well because I know that can go down a bit further than I'll put it. That's perfect. So that's him. And we don't need anything else with this part of the tank. So I'm just going to give you one last look at that before I put it to one side. I'm now bringing over the remote control. And the remote control is going to have the Perspex screen just at the front here. Now this screen does have protective film on and that protective film is on both sides. So I've got to take it off at of one side. just like that and also remove it from the other side as well. I just think this will be a bit of a pain if we do put it all together and then try and get it off. So I am taking this off now and there we go. I'm trying to keep my fingers off of it to keep it clear. That's just going to go into this indent here like that. Now I'm gently putting the top on just to keep that together because that's all we do on the remote control section which finally means bringing over the bottom of the tank here. They actually want me to take one of these cables out that we had plugged in here and it's going to be the one just on the right hand side like that. Oh, and they also want me to take out the one on the left hand side. So I'm just going to put these. This was just an extension cable by the look of it. I'm going to put that to one side. I just want to check what the other one was. The other one on the left had this end on it. That one's got to come out as well. And we are actually taking this board out. That's interesting. I haven't read ahead in the instructions as you see so this is a this is as much a shock as me as it is to you didn't know we were doing that okay i'm guessing there must have been a problem with that board because we are now replacing it with the one that we had in issue 90 which looks just like that so the old board was green this board is blue and that's just going to go in exactly the same way so put that in here we're holding it in with the AP screws. They're the same screws as what held in the uh, the old one there. And then once again on these cables, you have got the letters at the side. So DY is gonna be going into the left socket. And ZB is going into the right socket. So all we've done is change the circuit board. So we're saving these for later on. We're not actually using these because that's all there is to do in that stage and that's all there is to do in that pack. And it'll kind of give you an idea of how that's looking. So one more pack to go, but it is looking pretty cool, isn't it? 
<laughs> don't quite know what I'm going to do for the thumbnail for that, but uh, one more stage. I still can't believe that. So we've got the remote just to actually put the circuit board in. We've got to connect all the wires up. We've got to put the tracks on. Then I think we're ready to go. So pretty interesting. Now, if you want to get this for yourself, I have put the link down here to the Agora Models website. You'll be able to get this all the way from pack one. Remember, the next video on the channel is going to be Wednesday. There is going to be a live stream tomorrow on Tuesday, though. So look forward to seeing you there. Other than that, take care.